Hey guys, welcome back again. Um, I've made a few of these videos, not that many. I'm still, I'm still pretty new to this, but I was hoping that by now I would have worked out some more of the technical glitches, some of the kinks, um, but I'm still having some issues with the quality of these videos. And that's a little bit unfortunate because the whole idea is for you to be able to see kind of what I'm doing, you know, uh, really clearly. So I've adjusted lighting and I've gone through just some different, you know, methods of actually recording, but still haven't figured it out. So I've gone back and I've redone this one again. Um, hopefully it's better and easier for you to view. So where we left off, the basic structure of the adult face, that upside down egg with those grid lines. I showed you guys how to use the pencil for measuring, starting with the eye widths, five eyes across. Once we get that width of the eyes, then we should have uh, the width of the nose and width of the mouth. So something like this is where we should be. Again, we got that basic upside down egg shape. Uh, grid lines are still showing. The structure, uh, construction lines, the circles of the nose and the mouth still showing. That's all okay, no problem. Um, it's not very realistic. Um, looks a little bit cartoonish, a little bit freaky. But what's most important is that we have accurate measurements and proportions. Uh, that's all we should be worried about right now. Once you have this, once you've gotten this, then we can take it a little further and use an adult face for reference. Uh, I looked in the mirror, just kind of use that, it was easy. And clean it up a little bit. So I'm kind of getting rid of that cartoonish stylized, you know, very generic structure and making it a little bit more true to, you know, what we see. Um, with the shape of the head, you can see the roundness starts to change around the temples. The temples have a little more uh, structure. They indent around the brow. They protrude at the eyes, giving that kind of cheekbone some more structure. They sink in at the cheeks a little bit. The jaw is more defined. Um, I've gone through and added a few more lines of definition for showing the structure of the nose, the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose. I've lightly erased some of those construction circles. Uh, the eyes have given definition to the eyelids, upper and lower. A little bit more detail around the tear duct and the, that interior socket as well. Thinking about the direction of light. No shading as of yet. We'll do that in the next video. But the nose and the eyes, these lines are really placeholders for where that tone is going to go later on, where the shadings can go later on. So think about that. Just keep that in mind, that the, the definition, the, 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 dimension, the dimensional quality of, the, of these facial features will be defined by shading and not just this line alone. Uh, the eyebrows, I've kind of given a little bit more structure to those, really simple, just a few hatch lines and some... Um, just some outlines to kind of give it some shape. The ears I've defined uh, a little bit more. The outer ear, you use basically three lines to create one, two, and then three. The kind of inner part of the ear, and again, another, another line's kind of paralleling that first line and then two broken lines, and that goes for either side. So you don't need a lot of detail for the ear to convey that kind of unusual shape. The mouth, uh, again, same thing with the eyes and the nose. Uh, these lines are more placeholders for where shading is going to be coming in next time around. Um, but you can see what I've done, just kind of cleaning up a little bit more definition. Um, depending on the face you're looking at, the expression in the mouth will change. Um, but this little cleft at the top showing that space between the bottom of the nose and the top of the lip. And um, yeah, so I want you to go ahead. You don't have to erase your construction lines. You don't have to erase all those construction circles that we created, but just start to kind of clean up a little bit before we start adding that tone in the next video. All right, you guys, so go for it. Hopefully you can see this a little bit more clearly than the, uh, the last recording, all right? Make more art.